fail. Okay guys, so I have a really fun video for you guys because I decided to buy a bunch of wigs, a bunch of cheap wigs from Shopee and try them out for you all. This is gonna be my first time to try on some lace wigs and the price ranged from about 1,200 to 1,500 pesos only which I think is pretty affordable for a wig. I wanted to see for myself and experience for myself how it is to actually wear a lace wig. I also got one wig that was like only 400 pesos and I wanted to see like how cheap it actually looks on me. So let's go ahead and have some fun and open up these shoppy packages. Okay, so for the first wig, I got this 20 inch or 24 inches, I think, black haired lace wig. Okay, it came in this Ziploc bag and it's shipped from China. Let's go and open it. Whoa. Okay, so here she is, you guys. This looks really weird and scary at the same time. I believe that this is not real hair. This is synthetic. I think it's made out of plastic or something. I don't know. So it looks like it's coming in with uh, some kind of mesh. See right there? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. Oh my gosh, it's like all tangled up. All right. I have removed the protective net mesh and here she is again. Hello, nice to meet you. Wow, it's definitely super thick and super black and super shiny. So different from what I am used to wearing on my head. So I, 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 I'm actually born with black hair but I've been dyeing my hair since it was, what, 14? So having brown hair is the most natural color for me. The thought of going black is just as impossible or exciting to me as having purple hair. Which is why the second wig that I'm going to try on is purple. Okay, so for now, let's give her a little bit of a brush. So weird having to brush something that you're holding on to with your hands. Okay, so I can tell that it's super thick and super shiny. It doesn't smell very good. It smells like a, um, a factory. Kind of smells dusty, like an old closet. But it seems like it's a pretty okay quality. Okay. Alright, so lace wigs. There's this lace attached to it where the hairline goes and you get that nice gradual fade of the hairs into your hairline and that makes it look more real so what they do with this because I did some research was that women like they pluck and thin out the hairline and then they cut the lace according to hairline and that should blend the wig with your own natural hairline. Oh, okay. By the way, the shop that I bought this from gave me a free hair wig or a wig cap. And I'm opening it for the first time right now. Ooh, there are two of them. All right. So it feels like a stocking. It's actually a stocking material. It's very thin, very soft. How do you put this on? I guess just like a shower cap, huh? Okay, let's see how I should do this. I don't know. Tell me guys in the comments how I should do this. Do I just put it on like this? Oh, I guess you do. Okay, so it's just kind of like putting on a swimming cap. And I guess I'm just gonna have to uh, stuff my hair side without making it too bulky because I'm sure if I tie it in a, a bun it's gonna have like a lump at the back and then I'm popping my ears out 
pulling the cap back so that some of my baby hair come out. Okay. So I'm just trying on the wigs and giving you guys my first impressions because I mean to make this rock I'm definitely gonna have to pluck the hairline and obviously cut out the lace. Okay so upon inspection I can see that there are two uh, comb thingies here which I guess I have to clip underneath the ear area. You have like these straps similar to a bra which I guess you attach at the back towards the nape to secure it. All right, so here we go. <laughs> okay. Whoa, this is so weird. This is super duper duper weird. I feel I feel weird. Okay. So, here it is. It's definitely super heavy and thick and it feels really hot. Like I would never I would never wear this out. Like going to the grocery or anything like that. I would only ever wear a wig if it's for an an event or a party or something like that where where I can get away with wearing something like this. It also has to be very cold and very air conditioned because I can feel already how thick and warm it is. I mean, I've got my hair inside the hairnet or the, the wig cap and then I have all this synthetic hair which is plastic and it doesn't feel like my scalp can breathe. So I'm definitely starting to feel hot. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Of course, I gotta, I gotta cut this off and line up the hairline of the wig with mine. Okay, so this is my real hair, and this is with the hairline on. So you can tell that it could look good if done properly. Some girls say that if you want like a center part, all you have to do is move the hairline to the center. Or if you're more of like a side part kind of gal, you just move it to the side and you're gonna have like a side parting kind of thing. Okay, so what do you think? This is the first one. This is the black one. It's super long. And it doesn't look bad. I feel like if I give it a nice haircut, it could look cool. If I make it shorter and thinner, I feel like it could be more wearable. Even to like just dinner or something. <sighs> super hot. feels so good to have my scalp breathe again. Okay, so wig number two. Okay, my next wig is this lavender purplish super long curly hair. Curly hair piece. Let's open it up. I've always wanted to have pink or purple hair but I've been dyeing my hair for years and years and years that my hair is so thin and damaged I just feel like I can't risk uh, going through the whole like purple hair thing. And here she is, you guys. So again, this thing came from the same choppy shop that I bought the black one. It, it comes in this protective net thing. So let's go take it off. And it's off. So I see a lot of YouTubers um, holding their wigs like this and and brushing it again it feels weird it feels like uh, like I'm brushing my my hand this is definitely super thick and curly I think a little bit thicker than the black one and this looks like such a fun thing to wear for like a party or a cosplay thing because of the color look at it Kind of like a mauve, grapey, purpley, lavendery kind of violet. 
super shiny. Again, it smells like a factory. It doesn't smell so great. Okay, now, the thing with this wig is that it doesn't have a hair, um, a, a hair, it has a hairline. I mean, it doesn't have a middle part or side part. So kind of like, it's like a brush up and brush back kind of hairline. And I don't know how that's gonna look to me. Let's try it on. Again, I still have to prepare the wig and pluck it and cut off the lace, but I don't have time to do that right now. I'm just gonna do like an initial try on for you guys. And so let's have a go. What the heck? Mm. Okay, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. Where did I go wrong? You guys tell me. If you guys know more about this than me, hey, let me know because I'm doing this for the first time. Just for fun. Okay, so it fell on the floor and I just picked it up and it's like in a mess. It's like all tangled up and hair everywhere doesn't feel great to be holding all of this hair in my hand but whatever round two here we go okay it's on it is on and it's heavy and it is super warm I scalp feels super super warm but you can see that the hairline blends well with my hair I just have to cut the lace to make this thing disappear but initially this is what it, <laughs> it looks so fake guys this is what it looks like What do you guys think? This is super over. I could never wear this out. I could never wear this out. So what I would love to do with this is like straighten it and chop it off and make it like a more of a chic angled bob rather than have all of these unnecessary excess baggage all over the place like it feels really gross like and hot that's all i can say about this but it looks it looks good i think i think for pictures this would be really fun to play around with So I'm really gonna have to work on blending the wig into my natural hairline over here close to the ears and I'll see how that works. So there it is, wig number two. I'm starting to sweat and it's like not even that hot here in my room. Okay, on to wig number three. I am super sweaty. Now, I think that this is gonna be my favorite among the four wigs that I've bought. I still have one more, two more to try. This is the gray straight long one, but it fades. It's a gradient from black to gray. It looks really cool. I've always wanted to have super ashy gray hair. And I ordered this. It looks it just looks so cool with the black roots. And again, it comes with a protective net thing which you will remove. You will brush a little bit. This feels softer and better in quality for some reason over the the two it's shiny it's gray it's super well, it's not even gray it's like white ombre gray white 
and it's long and straight. Nice to meet you. Alright, so as I brush this thing, not much of it is coming off. I expected to have like some hair fall because, you know, these things are kind of cheap. So, yeah, so far. Oh, there it is. It's starting to come off. But so far, so good. Okay, let's try it on. I hope I like this one. I'm thinking I'm gonna like this one. Are you ready? Okay guys, so she's on. Okay, this one's more of like a center part and I'm gonna move it a little bit to the side. Okay, where my natural part is. And of course, since we're just testing it, it's not gonna look at all natural. But I'll do my best to make it look okay. <laughs> So that's where I'd want it to sit. And this is the gray ombre wig. It actually looks really cool. Super long. It is very, very, very long. So if I stand up for you guys, look, it falls on my freaking belly button line it's super long and straight and silky and i can feel how it's kind of like shedding a little bit okay this is what it looks like from the back i like this wig i really do it doesn't feel as hot in the scalp for some reason i don't even know why but i feel like it's Thinner, it's not as thick as the first two and I like how straight and silky it is and it's actually soft I like it this one's the best one so far okay so I could definitely see myself playing around with some makeup and maybe like cutting it a little bit short like up to here or maybe shorter So that it's more wearable. I like this wig, guys. This is this is really cool. I like this. What do you think? What do you think? So because I like the color so much, I think this is the first wig that I'm gonna prepare and pluck thin out the hairline and then cut the lace from and this is the first wig that I'm gonna be really playing around with with some makeup and looks and stuff like that only because I just I really like the color I like how it feels it looks so cool guys it looks really cool so this one I recommend I feel like a mermaid I'm just trying to imagine what it would look like without without this band. I still have to cut this off. Yeah, it's really annoying. I wish I wish it was already cut off, but this is a good one. Okay, and my last and probably least wig is the cheapest one it's about it cost me about 400 something pesos it's not a lace wig which means it'll probably look really extra fake but i wanted to see for myself what it would look like i just wanted to know it's supposed to look like this 
without the freaking orange reddish tips. But maybe I can cut it off and see what I can do with it. Let's try it on. Okay, so it doesn't look so great. It's uh, already shedding quite a bit. Um, it doesn't feel hot. I feel like this is more breathable, but as you can see, there's no lace hairline, so it just kind of is like that. see the band here it doesn't look real at all this is definitely for a party this is like a costume wig but I like the length okay I'm not sure how I feel about the color I feel like it's so it's so weird guys like It's so weird. This wig would have been okay if it was just silver all the way around, but this orange stuff, it just looks so weird. There, let's hide let's hide the orange parts. Let's hide it. I'm going to hide it. Because it's synthetic, it's kind of like plastic fibers. It is really hot. I'm like super sweating. So, what do you think? If I do a close-up for you guys, you're gonna see the very fake plasticky hairline that it has. Um, I don't really know yet how to fix that or how to make it at least look real. I think. I'm gonna have to pluck around here and maybe kind of like separate the hair into a semi-jagged parting so that it looks a little bit more like natural roots but yeah this is the initial try on and the initial test I do like the length and the thickness but I just hate this orange thing that it has that I didn't order I'm really trying to, to make it work and make it look good Okay guys, so that was it. That was my um, buying cheap wigs for the first time experience and it was a lot of fun. I'm still gonna be playing around with them and seeing how I can improve so that I actually enjoy playing around with them a little bit more. It definitely feels like, wow, I, I don't think I could wear headpieces out on a regular day because it's just very warm and very hot but it's it's cool it's so much fun I am really more of like a minimalist and natural kind of uh, beauty person but sometimes I do think of being a little bit more daring and having bolder hair longer hair louder hair but I just feel like the, the upkeep and maintenance for those things aren't realistic for me. So it's a good thing that nowadays we are able to buy cheap beauty stuff that we can just play around with. Uh, 
But if it's just for fun, for parties, or for like makeup videos or things like that, I mean, I'd say buying on Shopee in these beauty places is not so bad. I mean, as long as you know where to use them, then I think you're good. So yeah, there you have it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys have any suggestions for me to do, I would be glad to do any yoga, wellness, or beauty related stuff for you. Okay, see you guys soon and bye!